the horror genre for me was it was kind of as a child the forbidden fruit because you know in the 80s there was a lot of slasher movies and my, my parents were always like don't watch those movies and so that I would naturally want to watch them then <laughs> It built this fascination in with horror stories and things like that. So a lot of his storytelling is, is around that. As it got into junior high and high school, I started using the camera and, and actually making little short animations and, and uh, films in high school. Patrick Ray was one of the most driven students that I've ever seen. Coming to KU benefited me in the sense that um, the big thing was um, meeting people. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of people will say, well, you don't have to go to film school to make films. And I, I, don't, I don't agree because I feel like through film school, I was able to, to really meet with all the people that I've been collaborating with now for about 10 years. And so if I hadn't come to film school, I wouldn't been, have met those people. He never really waited for deadlines. I mean, he was a real self-starter. Casino Reality of Pictures was formed um, in 2001. Uh, Ryan Jones and I met each other uh, at first semester at KU at a KU Filmworks meeting, and I had brought a uh, rather daunting project uh, to KU Filmworks to make, and it ended up not getting selected because it was kind of ridiculous. He and I worked together on it for, for about a year and a half, and then we decided to form Casino Reality Pictures, and uh, we started making more and more short films. If we had any free time, we were working on two or three projects at once. He's got a lot of talented people, I've noticed over the years. He's able to, to get talented people in, the, in this area to work on his films. It's really cool to work with somebody who, uh, who is incredibly creative and incredibly organized. Um, that's a rare combination. Patrick puts a great deal of pre-production planning into his films. Every one of his films is storyboarded um, to within an inch of its life. I mean, literally, he goes through and he storyboards and he shot lists every single one of his films. I was like, man, that's amazing. You get like this map of a movie. I mean, like, this would be easy to shoot because you know exactly what you need to get. And uh, my experience with Patrick has been that he is the most organized director I've ever worked with. Probably the most organized creative person I've ever worked with. Of all the, the writing, producing, directing, directing is obviously the one I like the most. And then it would probably be writing uh, and then producing third. But I typically do all three. Directing for me is like I can focus on the shots, I can focus on the actors, and it's way more like at the end of the day I feel way, way more, um, you know, fulfilled by it. Police in Wichita are looking for this man, Mr. Philip Davenport, age 31. He's believed to be at large in the metro area, and he's wanted in connection with the deaths of at least 12 women. So I think there's a, a buzz that's growing around this area, but the trick is, is having people stick around and not move away. It's just building a crew base and getting people excited about stuff, and I think that the people, people around here are uh, still very excited about the idea of making films. I'm not going to end up like them. I'd rather be dead. I measure success by whether or not people react to the film in a positive manner. I think just getting the film made is <laughs> sometimes feels like it's the best success in the world because making a movie is so incredibly hard and I commend anyone who ever tries it. He's learned over the years how to effectively use the festival circuit uh, to raise money and to raise interest in his other film projects. The horror genre lends itself to uh, working in a low budget. Um, while, you know, if you want to make a sci-fi action movie, you got, you got to have a lot of money. With, with horror, you can do a lot with, with very little. You know, the horror community has really embraced him. And that, for, for me as a producer, from a marketing standpoint, that, that makes me feel really uh, warm and fuzzy because it's like, hey, guess what? There's already kind of this market built in for Patrick's films. We just got to go make it. I see Patrick as someone who will have a long and illustrious career in making horror films. Well, really making any films that he sets his mind to. Future projects. Well, I have um, a, a film that I'm working on called Rhino, which is not a horror movie. It's a, a movie, a drama thriller about um, uh, two drug dealers. And so it, there's this little bit of like tension that builds between them and it turns into like escalates into um, attempted murder, but I won't say much more about the script. You know, we're always entertained uh, by Patrick. He's, he's just one of those dynamic personalities. Uh, he's, he's 
always a mover and shaker and has something going on and a story to tell. You know, and he's not waiting for a ship to come in. I mean, he's actually actively building a ship because he's going sailing somewhere. And uh, you just kind of want to go along for the ride.